Right, I hope you're seeing this because my camera... Oh, I'm just having a bad time with cameras and computers. Right, what I've done is I've popped a bead cap on. I've then popped the bead on. I've glued that to the uh, this one. I've then put another bead on and then another bead cap. And that's ready for putting the angel on. Now what we're going to do is make the angel. So you take hold of your uh, pin. I'm just get uh, the right one because I've killed the end on that one. You're going to need some pliers and some pincers, the rounded ones. Uh, what I'm going to put on first, straighten up the pin, is uh, some of these. So I'm just going to pop one of those on. Like that. Find the pearl. Like that. Pop under the bead cap, a uh, little spacer on. They are tiny, but they're very pretty. Um, another pearl. Another little spacer. And then I'm just going to add some wings. Any wings. Make sure you get the right way around, like that. Another spacer. And then the last pearl goes on the top with another spacer. And then what you need to do, you need to cut at least half an inch. You need at least that. Snip that off. <clears throat> you might need to cut a little bit more off. Let's just see. Yeah, I think we will chop another section off. And then pop that on your pincers like that uh, and then what you need sorry just let me get this <coughs> your little claw what we call a crab claw take hold of that take one of your metal rings which are these uh, split rings open that up pop the claw onto it and then you pop the little charm onto that and then pop that onto the stick pin and then you can close that up with the pliers like that and there you, you don't need the claw what am I doing <laughs> oh you ninny oh I'm losing it I've been crafting all day with my grandchildren, we're granddaughters, absolutely brilliant day we've had. And they've gone home very late, they had to phone the dad up and say they didn't want to go home yet. Let me just close this up, oh, that's it. And there you go. You've got a little angel hanging from the stick pin. And that, the wings are wrong way around. <laughs> I know oh, bum. <laughs> well, it does, no, because I did it that way, didn't I? Like a silly old. Oh, nah, nah. Well, we've got wings that way. <laughs> Never mind. That was an odd one. Well, let's do it properly. Okie dokie. Take the stick pin. Take your bead cap. Pop that on. Oh, let's find a bead. Let's find a different colour bead. Yeah, we'll have one of these. We'll do a brown one, I think. Nice champagne colour. Take your... Uh... I didn't do that, did I? No, didn't do that. Come on, woman. Pop this on. That's it. So what I'm going to do now is glue that onto there. Doesn't matter about the excess glue, you can take that off. You do need, however, to get that as straight as possible. Okay, pop your other bead on. Like that. Again, pop that on the glue. <coughs> And then we're going to line this up neatly, if possible, like that. Because you can take any excess off, that's nothing. 
That's lined up nice and neat. Like that. Take your bead cap, pop that on. My fingers and nails are absolutely blathered. Yeah, every day. <laughs> and push that on. Push your bead into the bead cap, uh, cap because that uh, it does look nice and it does help it stay. Let's take the excess glue off. So there we've got that. Then, like I say, take a pin, not that one. Put a little tiny bead uh, spacer on. Uh, I'm going to do a larger bead at the bottom, I think. Then get some more spacers out. Another spacer and a smaller bead like that. <coughs> Another spacer. It's because I was going to do a charm as well, so that's that. Uh, like that. And then the wings, which we'll should try and get the wings the right way around this time, I think. Okay. Like that. Another spacer. Another bead. A little spacer. See how that looks? Pretty. And then, like I say, you're going to have to cut that off. Like that. Use your rounded nose pliers. And just hook it over and into itself. Like that. Okay. So you've got that. And then you take one of the little um, metal rings and you pop your little charm onto that, onto there, and then close that up. And there you go. Now you could add crystals or anything. I'm just showing you the basic way to put them together. And uh, like I say, they call the stick pin angels. And they are beautiful. They really are. Quite pretty. Yeah. Um, and then if you want to do a charm that you hang off something, like your bag or, I don't know, anything you want, then all you need is take your pin. Some of mine are bent. I don't know why. And I've got right. <laughs> it's twisting about in my hand. Like that. Oh, a bit of string everywhere. Hold on, lady. Hold on. Hold on to it. That's better. Like that. That's better. Okay. So what you're going to do? Take your spacer. Put that on first. You can use a bead cap or, um, yeah, I'll use these. Another one of these. Put your bead cap on. Take your larger bead, of course, and then push that on like that. It doesn't matter if it opens. I'm going to take another bead cap and push that there. Another spacer. Um... Let me see. I have a crystal, so I'm going to use a crystal. Like that. It is a different crystal, but a different colour, but that doesn't matter. Um, I'll take another bead, I think. Let's see how big that is. All right. Take a spacer. Let's find another bead. Have another part of the uh, video done. The girls have really, really enjoyed themselves today and I've had a fabulous time with them. And then we'll take a little bead. I can find the hole. With another spacer. Like that. Well, I'm going to take that off first. I'm going to add another crystal. So that's the best thing about making charms. You can actually take off and, you know, add on what you want. Like that. A nice spacer on the end. I'm going to cut it when I want it. Which is just there. And then with the end of the pliers is to make a circle. Turn, just turn it round.
and there you've got a little charm but you can have them anyhow I would use that to open on a box that one um, and then all you do is take your little jump ring pop that on pop your charm on close that up and there you go that will now hang on uh, anything you want now I do have some that I made up today when before the children came so I'm just going to show you these if I can get them off because I've wired put a piece of wire up on my shelf uh, with some charms on that I was sit, uh, sat making this morning oops sorry sorry about that and um, let me just get these off So I like making charms for bags and things like that. Or just to hang off a journal, a mini or whatever. And of course, play about and do what you like. So I've made this one, which has got a flower bead on. Sorry, hope you can see this. That one, which has a flower bead on there. Then I made one of those, which will hang off a bag or something. Another one like that. Two of those. I didn't put the bead cap on there, look. Well, never mind. Some of, oops, not that one. So I've just done that one. One like that. And then this one, which I do like hanging off a book or a bag. You know, to hang it off the spine of a book. And this came off a necklace. Uh, which I, I have part of it somewhere. The rest of it. It's like another one of those. I'm going to make another large charm. And you've got that. So it's just have fun. Um, there's lots and lots and lots of different things you can do. Uh, I like these. <laughs> Let me just show you this one. Oh, I'll get a long pin. I don't think I've got a long pin. No, that's not long enough. We'll use a silver one just to show you. Nice big bead cap. Huge, huge bead. <clears throat> <clears throat> Pop that on there like that, see how it sits in. Um, then I'm going to use one of, oops, not that, like a cap, like that, that sits on there. Um, let's have a look. Because you can mix your colours, you don't need to keep them. We'll have a brown, I think like that and mix a little spacer with it we'll have another bead like that a cap to go on that one like that see how pretty they look I'm going to change that bead I'm going to have a cream one like that and then like I say chop that off and turn that over there we go like that and then you take like one of these these are all from necklaces I save them. I don't waste any of them at all. There's a nice one. Match the colour. Um, so I dismantle all the jewellery and keep everything I can. So then we want a goldish or gold coloured jump ring. Ugh, oh, that's hard. That is hard. Mm -mm. Quite strong, those. Pop the. Wait a minute. That's it. Pop that on. Pop that on and then close that up. I ain't going anywhere. And there you go. You've got a nice one to hang off a bag or something. So, just play around, have fun. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now. Hope you had a good Easter.